Hi everybody, I'm Justin Boos and I'm here to show you the Starry Night Brush Pack for Painter Essentials. There are 10 brushes in this pack and they're all right here and I'm going to go ahead and read you each one and then we're going to go ahead and look at them. So we've got Halo, Infinity, Magic, Nova, Pinhole, Sprinkle, Star, Tracer, Twist, and Wave. And I've got an eraser for some layer things I'm going to do here. So, um, each one of these brushes are intended to enhance any kind of starry night kind of sky that you have, or you can of course use it for your own purposes. I've cleared the sky here now and I'm going to go ahead and go down each one. Uh, some of them I'm going to show you how the eraser goes hand in hand. So we're going to do a new layer here. And for this one particularly, speaking of which, we're going to go ahead and just take it from any corner and this helps you create a colorful halo. Now if you go over something that you need in the foreground, the reason why we're doing that on a front layer is because we're going to take the eraser and we're going to back out of that. There we go. And you can get pretty detailed with that zooming in or whatever you want to do. Um, but this applies to a lot of brushes and particle shop, but especially these if we've got a foreground. Starry night skies don't look as good unless you have some kind of little bit of an environment around the edges there. So there's just an additional tip just for uh, no reason, but as long as I'm talking about it. The infinity brush here is by far one of my favorite brushes I think uh, we've ever had in, in one of these brush packs here. You're going to go ahead and uh, not even really worry about the hue because every time you press it down it's going to change but you can see how this creates a really cool rippling effect and you can change the opacity of this so if you want this really light in your picture you can do it really light you can do a little more or you can get really bold if you need to if you go way out there in space and you want to create some cool space things uh, since this is way up there I recommend you do it on kind of a lower opacity so you don't get too much of an unrealistic look there. So let's go ahead and move down to Magic. Magic is a cool brush to kind of add some magical waves. So I'm going to go ahead and color pick and I'm going to move the opacity down a little bit again for the sake of kind of distance there. And this helps add some kind of magical bolts throughout the sky. If you've ever seen some classic illustrations, some of the coolest starry night skies have got these wizard electric bolts and this has just got enough shake that you can add some cool things and again you can take that eraser I'm going to turn down the opacity of it and kind of back out of the parts that you want out of there so this creates a really really cool effect uh, in the night sky if you use it right so we'll go ahead and go on to the next one here Nova and this one is kind of fun because sometimes a starry night sky just doesn't have enough and this is pretty heavy when we first do it here. Uh, but you can, again, take that opacity and and I just hit 2 on my keyboard to bring it down to 20% there. And I can just lightly tap that in and start creating some really cool Nova-like effects with this. There we go. And if you have these brush packs and by any chance you have Painter 2020, you can actually change the texture in which is under here. So this gives you kind of a cool, you know, there, there's some cool eclipse kind of stuff going on there. Um, but uh, you can change that texture if you have an advanced copy of Painter. So let's look at Pinhole here. And this one's cool because, you know, we've got stars and we've got a star somewhere down here, right there. A couple, couple over for some reason. Um, but this is kind of, if you've ever seen one of those little tiny stars that it's just like a little pinhole in the sky. This is kind of a great way of uh, kind of dabbling in that that kind of more of a concentrated twinkle look and you can make that more saturated or less saturated uh, darker or lighter. Um, the, the distance is yours but uh, judging on the size of course makes it bigger or smaller and more concentrated. So we're gonna actually, I'm gonna first show you star because I wanna show you these side by side. Star is more of if you wanna make a really nice, and if you do this on the actual layer, it looks better here. There you go, you can create a little star burst effect with some natural texture in there. 
so the two of those are, are pretty similar, but side by side you can see the difference. So let's go ahead and back out of that. And I'm going to turn that off and that on. And we're going to go back to the brush we missed here, Sprinkle. This one is pretty fun because it's a rainbow brush. If you want to add some, um, some atmosphere into your work, you can go brighter, but it's always going to have a nice color variation to it that's going to help set uh, and enhance your rainbow starry night there. And again, we can use the eraser on a separate layer to back out of that uh, in areas that we didn't want in there. So that will help you keep your foreground and background. Since Starry Night really is, uh, I think it will always be a background. So the eraser is going to go really good hand in, it's going to go hand in hand with this pretty well. And you can also take this and, and go up and down the opacity. Um, you can do some cool things that way. I'm going to clear that layer. And we already did star. So now we've got tracer. We've got this cool tracer here that uh, is more like a halo, but I think it's kind of something you can chase things with. It's got a nice controlled slow motion to it, so you can make some really controlled strokes there. And again, you can play with the saturation uh, and the value of it. The darker you go, it's going to do some more saturated things, just so you know, unless you're down here. So it might be confusing if you try to do it too dark down here on any of these glow brushes for that matter. I try to keep it right next to the the color I'm I've got on the background so that the hue of it's more natural even if it are were to change. So the next one is going to be the twist brush. So the twist brush is actually going to be something that you can add some compositional twists and turns to your work. So we're going to go ahead and make an example stroke here. This is a very slow controlled brush and I recommend easing out of it so I just upped my pressure right around here so I wasn't pressing very hard. Um, and then what you can do is you can add another one and another one and another one and if you want to take the eraser and back out some of these white concentrated spots from the start uh, you can do that. Now on a new layer I can move this around. Oop, we got some of our old stuff coming in. I can move this around anywhere I want um, to make it fit in or add to a composition. So this brush is more of a compositional thing. Uh, changes color like the rest to stay consistent. We're going to clear that out, but again, you can take your eraser and kind of dab out any spot that you want there. There we go. And again, you can spend some time making that look pretty realistic. So let's look at Wave here. This one, I don't think that this does us a whole lot of good on a new layer unless that we were to take just the thing that we had. So let's say you just wanted to edit some of the stars that you had. I can take the, the Wave brush and wave just those things. And that is more of its intention. You can edit the background, but I really recommend this as a blender for some of your more starry uh, brush strokes. It's going to be a lot more useful. Uh, in Particle Shop it might be a little more work to do that because you're going to have to go in and out of Particle Shop, but in Painter Essentials you're going to have a really fun time with this brush. Alright, so I think that's it for the Starry Night um, Painter Essentials brush pack. I'm really excited to see some really cool Starry Nights made from this. Um, thank you all for watching.